Today we have to talk about something really important. Not something I I, I was actually looking forward to talking about. Um, I'm, I'm kind of kind of in a somber mood right now because this, this is something extremely serious. Um, it's life altering, and I've been holding back on you guys, um, trying to deal with this on my own, trying to protect myself, uh, protect my family, and make sure that before this got all publicly, um, that I was prepared to deal with uh, the the inevitable, I don't know, the, the, the backlash, um, the inevitable concern people are going to have, uh, that this is maybe the most serious thing I've, I've ever talked about on this channel. And I just, I just got to put it out there. Um, look, just, just watch this. こんにちは。ゼルダの伝説シリーズプロデューサーの青沼です。ゼルダの伝説ブレスオブザワイルド続編の発売時期に関してお知らせがあります。本作は2022年に発売を予定しているとお伝えしていましたが、開発にもう少しお時間をいただきたく、発売を2023年春に変更させていただきたいと思います。楽しみにお待ちいただいている皆様、大変申し訳ありません。続編の舞台は、前作、ブレス・オブ・ザ・ワイルドでの地上フィールドだけでなく、空の上にも広がると前回お伝えしましたが、拡張された世界はそれだけではなく、そこで皆さんを待ち受ける新たな出会いや新たな遊びも、前作以上に多彩なものとなっています。そうした続編での体験を特別なものにするべく開発チーム一同引き続き総力を挙げて取り組んでいきますのでどうか今しばらくお待ちいただければと思います今回のお知らせは以上となりますありがとうございましたわい Alright, on a more serious note, yes, Breath of the Wild 2, or the sequel, or sorry, they moved it around. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. It's no longer the sequel 2, it's the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. I really wonder if they're gonna end up just calling it that. But this game has been delayed. And look, I know that I've been telling people it's gonna come out this year, and that was just because that was what the official date said. But what have I noted the entire time? Every time we've brought up Breath of the Wild sequel. I have mentioned every single major Zelda game to get a date has been delayed. And the trend continues. They have delayed Breath of the Wild 2 out of 2022, but they did it in a way that I thought was smart. So they could have just said, we need a little bit more time to develop. We are now planning to release this game in 2023. And that would have just, we'd have a completely different conversation. Some people would be extremely upset. Some people would be concerned. Oh no, this game's going to be delayed until the next platform comes out. Because, oh no, if it's not going to come out to 2023, and let's say a new platform is going to come out in 2024, wouldn't they just delay this sucker yet again and release it on the next platform as a launch title like they did with Breath of the Wild? Those would be real conversations we're having right now. But instead, people seem actually fairly happy about this because this delay clarified. A couple of things. One, when is this game coming out? Until now, it's been speculation. Is it going to be summer? Is it coming November? Is it coming December? The speculation's over. Spring 2023 is very specific. And every time Nintendo has said spring of a given year for a major game, it's always meant March. When it comes to Nintendo Switch, it's always meant March. And that is because Nintendo likes to release the game right before the end of the fiscal year. So they get that end of year fiscal bump in, in, in revenue. And then obviously it helps kick off the, the following fiscal year with really strong, you know, evergreen trailing sales. So this actually makes a lot of sense that they're going to release this and still plan to release it within this fiscal year, but not necessarily, you know, within the calendar year.、Uh, so that's really, really interesting. 
I love that they did that and they didn't give us a date that's going to make our minds run wild and speculate on, oh my gosh, is it going to get delayed further? Is this going to be a holiday game next year? When the heck is it coming out? Kind of like last year when we were like, oh man, when in 2022 is it coming out? Now we know. It's coming out in spring. And what I like that they did this time in delaying it, because Nintendo doesn't do this. Oftentimes when they announce the delay of Zelda games, that's it. It's just delayed. And, 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 that, and that's all we got. They actually chose to show us a little snippet of a new part of the game. And that obviously is the very first time we have seen Link use the Master Sword or hold the Master Sword anyways. And it, it's really interesting because the Master Sword itself looks obviously damaged or corrupted. Or something happened to it, and that something may be the very same something that messed with Link's arm. So there's going to be a lot of speculation coming about that and, and, and what's going on. I know some people have speculated on the Zonai and connections there, uh, but who knows at this point? Obviously, it's all speculative, uh, but it is nice that we got to at least see a little glimpse of something that's going to at least get people theorizing and talking. And, of course, we'll be talking about this, you know, tonight on live stream, but we'll also be talking about it uh, during the podcast tomorrow. We already were going to talk about Breath of the Wild 2. Anyways, now we just have even more of a reason to talk about Breath of the Wild 2 tomorrow. So uh, this, to me, is just expected. Um, this was an expected delay, uh, but also, if, if you think about it, delaying it to spring is only giving us about a three-month delay. That's that's really not that bad. So I, I think overall reactions to this have been fairly positive. Um now, before I say anything else, I do want to remind you, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. So I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And hey, you know what? We do giveaways for our subscribers all the time, including right now. Uh, we're giving away a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or Switch OLED this week, in fact. All you have to do is go down to that gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description to enter. Thank you guys for that. Um, so I wanted to give a few more thoughts on... This whole Breath of the Wild 2 situation, obviously I made it a bit more dramatic at the beginning than it really is, um, because for some people, they might literally actually feel extremely sad over this delay. Uh, but look, the rest of this year is packed. I mean, let's just think about the games we have coming up. This month, we have Nintendo Switch Sports. We got Mario Strikers coming up in June. We got Splatoon 3 at some point this summer. Still have Bayonetta 3. We still have Pokemon you know, Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet coming out. That's already five major games are there. And oh, by the way, somehow Sparks of Hope is going to slot in somewhere in there as well. So we already have so many major games coming this year that Breath of the Wild 2 being delayed just a little bit outside of the year isn't that big of a deal. It also gives us an idea that, hey, the game is extremely far along in development. And what's also, I mentioned there was a couple tidbits we got from this. Um, something AGN was said during that trailer uh, or during this announcement is very interesting. Um, he talked about the vastness of the world. Let me grab the exact trailer quote. All right, so he says, The adventure in this sequel will take place not just on the ground, as in the previous game, but also in the skies above. Again, these are exact quotes from the producer. However, the expanded world goes beyond that, and there will be an even wider variety of features you can enjoy. Um, and that's obviously where they tease the Master Sword, including new encounters and new gameplay elements. So... This is funny. So he says we've expanded to the sky, but it's actually much larger than that. And that's, I, I think, important because some people were worried that, well, because this game takes place in the same world of Breath of the Wild, the majority of the game is going to be the same world. And he, he's basically making it sound like one. Yeah, that's there. But oh, by the way, it's much larger, much wider in scope than you realize. And that isn't just how big the world is. It also includes the enemy encounters, the story, the puzzle elements, all of that. Um, and I think that's a good relief for a lot of us that just kind of looked at it as, look, outside of the sky area, the ground, it looked the same. Oh, they, you know, put a horn on top of a Boko Blin. Oh, no, what a big change. Um, people were worried that there wasn't going to be more enemy variety. And he's basically trying to come out here and be like, look, that's not the case, actually. You know, hey, guys, we put as much development time into this as we did the original Breath of the Wild. Clearly, we're doing something that we can't show or aren't willing to show yet at this point now. The big thing, obviously, I, I want to know, and many people want to know, is are we going to see this game this summer? And I think that's a resounding yes. If this game is a solid spring release, yeah, at E3 uh, 2022, we are going to end up seeing this game. Uh, and they're going to really start to build the hype train really once Pokemon comes out. So I would say from December moving forward, you're going to start hearing a lot more. You know, the, I, I would fully expect that, hey, this game will appear at the Game Awards, I would presume, and there'll be uh, a 
spring direct or something you know in february maybe that's going to help uh push the game as well so again i think the roadmap for their the marketing for this is they're going to talk about it uh you know at this summer they're going to give us maybe even a tease at the fall direct i don't know you know if they want to keep the marketing going then if they're going to focus on the winter releases but they're going to talk about it then and we're going to talk about it probably at the game awards and then obviously at a direct in early 2023 so there's a clear marketing path here that still fits uh because we're just talking realistically about a three-month delay so what i want to know is obviously your guys' thoughts on this delay are you disappointed are you okay with it are you glad we now know a, a more exact time of when this game is coming out so we now know where to set our expectations uh and do you expect to see the game this summer like i do let me know down in the comments below i am nathaniel robojance from nintendo prime thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video